Brandon oh. Brown. Over here is our offer field damage. He's gonna deal. He's our gardener. That's for real. Catfax. Come in the fans. Yow! What's up with you? Rams making plays. Sick pipes. Kill it today. DPM. It ain't no thing. Fletcher. Yes, Fletcher. In the sky. Right Sack right. plays. He's our guy. Shocking cards. Medic dies. Read it like he's gonna snipe. Look at all those sponsors, by the way. Shout out to the plates. Read just my eyes. Oh, my. I, uh. I was thinking about picking up some Stormbreaker. That's reasonable. Yo. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's a bit more. That's a bit more reasonable. So probably to turn Moxie down a little bit. Okay. Uh, or probably, probably you know, turn me up some. Turn me up some. Uh. This is good though too because I get the mic like right here, and if you guys don't see it. Once again, shout out to our sponsors. I'm gonna pop a, I'm gonna pop a Red Bull right now. Somebody was trying to ask. They deleted the tweet, but they were trying to ask, is that, is that a real sponsor? And I'm like, is that fridge real? And yeah, the fridge is real. Fridge is real. Damn, Moxie, Damn, Moxie. Just like Our bro might have missed the lobby. I don't know. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another Hopefully not. edition of the Portland Burnsiders, featuring our special guest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, and that's the thing too. Sponsorships don't have to be money, you know. Shot to mod mic as well. I'm not using my wireless mod mic, but the wireless mod mic is sick. I might, uh, might rearrange my whole situation here. And um, basically, you know, that's kind of boring. The background here and then the way the light is, it's just super intense. And I think that if I was to flip my situation around here in, in my apartment and I'm like, like against the wall, the walls look right here, and the kitchen's like over there. But if I just like flip and go over there and have the camera pointed towards the kitchen, I have to keep my kitchen clean, but I kind of need to keep my kitchen clean anyway. And sometimes I'm also already just like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a webcam tonight. So. Yeah, and then more cooking with X9 videos. And it's a lot easier to like do something and then maybe even if I have a second webcam and I start getting fancy, then I can do some, some stuff like that. Just easier, so. person in my head which is not good 
to see Ted King. I hope he's getting in the game, because... Oh, I, I, mean, I should just get in the game as well. I am not in the game. Launch game as soon as it's ready. Turn this into a TF2 stream. That's how things go. Or Dire Tide, actually. That's the truth. We would play Dire Tide. Uh, at least a little bit. Gotta dip my toes in it. Our homie did have a. Uh, oh, off work in 15, huh? Good timing. Um. Our homie did have a uh, surgery recently, so I mean, like not like super recently, but you know enough that he still has a pretty good excuse if he um, is just like passed out and not woken. Which I can probably just try. of my brush you are mark nice. your face yeah. uh, what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to another musical oh, edition so of the Portland Burns Lectures featuring our special guest Moxie
What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another musical edition of the Portland Burnsiders, featuring our special guest, Moxie. seconds remain. Five seconds remain. seconds. Five seconds remain. Yo, it's cat weed. Whatever. I'm just making funny jokes about yeah. I'm sorry. No, you guys didn't miss anything. Yo. And I, I, I was talking so much genius about the draft it is as well. So, oh, we get that Ku Terrorblade. I don't think he. Uh, hey, people were laughing. People were laughing. I swear. Um, we get that Terrorblade, I'm gonna go to KU. I was saying that, uh, the Ember Spirit is likely mid, but, um, you know, there's the possibility of pause four, and then I said, because if Yapsor can do it, and then I paused for comedic effect, and then I said, well, not everybody can do it. <clears throat> there you go. It was quite funny. Quite funny. You got a Berea ad? That's awesome, dude. Maybe they're maybe they're on to me. They know they know about the Eckstein p, -p, -p pasta Gets jam. Support your streamer. I 
say streamer singular, but I know that Guest Jam's out there watching. He's out there watching. Ten seconds. Oh, thanks for the bit, dude. Five seconds remain. Wow. Yeah, I need to get that uh, Burnsiders Patreon going. It is <sighs> Sorry, my cousin texting me. Maybe I'll just reply on my keyboard so I can type faster. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. Yeah, see, exactly. Like, Burns out of Patreon. Uh, that could easily definitely be a hot sauce of the month club. But <clears throat> I think basically as well, I still need to really solve this shipping issue and just kind of figure out really the issue is I have a sauce coming up. I should have already made sauce today, but I did clean my kitchen. So my kitchen's in a pretty good space to make sauce later. And, well, I have a hot sauce in the works it's not really bubbling yet which is sort of concerning but i should just be patient i should just be patient it's just sort of in four days usually it bubbles by now five days and i bought some nice peppers for this 85 dollars worth of peppers so it would be a bummer if this sauce did not turn out. A bummer, man. Uh, but I, I otherwise am excited about this hot sauce. And um, it is a possibility. I just need to get some uh, plastic bottles, I think, to facilitate the shipping. And, and then I'd feel better about sending them out in, in sleeves. But I guess I also need to try out... Like just really kind of wrapping them pretty well with paper and then sending out singular bottles and and sleeves um, as is with the glass. I don't know. I'm sure nobody who's watching has been like, yes, I bought a singular bottle of hot sauce online. This is what it came like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, usually if it fails, I mean, I, I mean, yeah. If it's not good, I wouldn't serve it, you know, right. But if it fails, I would say usually if it fails, it's going to be a pretty severe fail. And I'm probably not going to want to use it at all. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I just, I just got to give it some time to be patient. Um, Tidehunter picked up from the Burnsiders. Classic off lane. Going to be paired up with that Wind Ranger. Um... Yeah, I mean, I have some friends gets that uh, I can send some bottles out to that I need to figure it out with. Um, I have some other people that I'm, I'm definitely shipping some paid bottles to. This Young Insanity is um, is awesome. The young Insanity is awesome. Actually, it's been a little bit. Um, whatever gets him, I'll send you a dude or something. If you, as long as you, you know, as long as dude gives me a fat yeah. I'll... All right, we're doing some young insanity. Mm. <laughs> Friends only live in Portland. All right, young. Oh, I, I had young insanity right behind me, but if those are bottles I would like to sell, not not taste from young insanity. Let's fucking some ghost peppers. Animage, nah, bro. Woo. Mmm, it's dangerous out of this bottle. Doesn't have the drip top. Fuck my life. That radiant is about to get wrecked. Oh, 
it out. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. Put like a dot on there, shit. <clears throat> that got me today. <clears throat> mm. I should have started with the uh, the habanero. Shit. Um, Aaron used to play some Shadow Fiend. They banned that out though. Um, yeah, with uh, Wind Ranger, uh, that's definitely a four uh, guest jam in our in our lineup. Um, sometimes it's it's not, but. I mean, I would see. Yeah, Ember, like Wind Ranger versus Ember. <laughs> that to me doesn't necessarily seem like a a mid matchup you would really aggressively choose into. And Radiance just trying to secure their mid here. I mean, in terms of their bands. Um, and they have to pick a four, unless uh, Ogre Ma Magi is the four. But Ogre Magi and Axe together sounds pretty terrible. So it's probably a, a ranged uh, pause four here. Witch Doctor? Witch Doctor, maybe. Um, I've seen, I think that's more of a five these days, though. Uh, Lena got banned out. Sky got banned out. It's just good. Um... Clock is ticking here. Yeah, snap would be. Yeah, yeah, good call on the snap retro. I saw that coming through in the chat right before, and I mean, yeah, I called out. I mean, snap very popular. What's around? Pairs up well with our axe. I want to say I played against that in a game, and it was quite obnoxious. I mean, Cookie and a counter helix. But at the same time, I feel like KU, <clears throat> Terrorblade Oracle is going to be alright with that. Um, and I feel like they're still pretty happy with. I mean, Anti Mage was picked after the Wind Ranger. But I still feel like they must be pretty happy with this um, matchup overall. I think I think snap is for I mean unless they run axe for axe I mean yeah but snap four to pair with the axe sounds uh, song monkey in interesting here not one I've seen a ton um as to be expected if I'm gonna take one I'm gonna do it small dollar um. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy from the burn side, as to be expected. League of Legends, uh, aka Kobe. So Ugg on Ember Spirit, Ogre Magi. That Steel Borco is pause five. Um, Dato is uh, the offlander, and Horror would be the pause four. So. All right, I'm gonna put these back. Let's go, boys! Uh, shout out to our YouTube viewer. What's up, dog? I see you in chat. That's why I refer to you in the singular. I know there's a whole army of you, though. Thanks for joining us. I know I'm kind of on short notice. We found out about this tournament um, yesterday. Prepare for battle. Lara. 
Mad 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 What happened? Axe happened! Why, thank you. Gotta get that net worth up already. Let's go. Oh, excuse me, real quick here. Shout out to Pip Munkle. Boom. As he has a little uh, casting config that Just you can uh, download off the GitHubs. And it like, switches your camera at the Wazda. Um, I don't always use that. It is. It is OP. And you can also hold uh, Shift to then like force it to kind of like auto smooth. Like it just goes into like a soft auto director. It's, it's amazing. Um, Burnsiders. Oh! Mirage can click fast. And then work a laughing about it. Man, jeez. Oh, it is pause for. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, hopefully the Burnsider is uh, smarter than their caster um, as to whether they this is what they're anticipating. Let me turn up the audio here real quick. I think your audio is real low. But yeah, I should have got Metro for analysis uh, without a doubt. Yeah, things going all right for Snapfire. Metamorphosis already used up top. As uh, Ugg is, you know, in the jungle, just kind of messing around. KU's got a pretty fat wave uh, forming up. Steel Borko banged up pretty solid in the bottom lane. He is the Ogre Magi, though, so he'll be back fighting health in no time. He's going to use up a little bit more of his uh, mana. And the uh, full uh, root, pretty much full root, coming in right at the end of the Metamorphosis. You. Oh yeah, gets that battle hunger off. So that's nice and uh, not very effective. Not a ton of uh, experience on the Ember Spirit Axe. Still half level away from level two. And Ogre will get level two. Let's we'll see where he goes here. Bloodlust would be helpful. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Bloodlust for the uh, anti mage. So say Bloodlust would be uh, definitely helpful. No deny on the range creep there, uh, but I mean, you know, the half deny in the sense that Annie Mage didn't get the last hit on it. Uh, okay, use courier. Oh. So, courier kept uh, safe. KU, or sorry, uh, Morco with uh, the, the side pull attempt. Just get the one range creep uh, involved, who I think uh, did kill the creep. A blink forward. Sort of surprise, he gets shackled. An ally creep. And, oh, it's spell steel. Or spell shield. And out there. Over Magi going for the uh, pull again right now. Oh, I just saw it on the top of Aaron's health getting low there. Level 3. Oh no! Also, KU going down to the axe. So Burnsiders give up first blood and second blood. Well, as, uh, looks like we gotta have a pause here for Mr. Vinny. A wise blade. <laughs> what are we laughing about? I'm gonna click around for a second. <clears throat> Thanks again for joining us for this broadcast. Three minutes in, Burnsiders down two zero. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna give them some spirit energy by playing some uh, playing some Minesweeper. Well, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Shit. 
<laughs> I should have. I should have stayed on it. No, okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, speaking of spirit energy, shout out to my buddy who uh, apparently has appendicitis and in the hospital. That ain't good. Um, check the net worth. And yeah, certainly going uh, the way of black ice right now. Um, shout out to their organization. The uh, warping um, drop down here. Maybe. Or just, you know, good, good war. Keep a safe eye on things. They, they probably should have seen that happening though. We have getting pulled back. It's nice. Yeah, they were chasing Ugg here. Not going to be able to get the kill this Metamorphosis, uh, Metamorphosis on the Terrorblade. They could have maybe turned around to uh, get. Oh, yeah, Juan coming out here. The root, the illusion on the axe as well. They're looking for the kill here. Plenty of time on this Metamorphosis. Oh, the uphill miss. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> and the uh, the heal burst uh, didn't quite get through him. So, yeah, that's a little unfortunate giving him the heal. Axe is, uh, well, was saving up for uh, phase boots queued up, but actually adds a tango and ring of regeneration. Drops him. Ugg does have TP, and oh, it just got back to base, so that actually works out pretty nicely. Four black ice. Uh, Notorious, a little bit behind Steel Borko on experience. Uh, but uh, Vinny Sal is level four, as expected. Just got power treads queued up. Notorious going for the stack, or at least, you know, with seeing Borko there. Uh, anticipating uh, getting a little bit of damage on him. Jump across might happen here from Mirage. Yeah, and Black Eyes actually able to get both of these uh, runes. Victorious maybe in a little bit of trouble here. Windrun still on cooldown here. Orko just barely out of range of that Fire Blast and uh, mashing uh, speed here. As Aaron turns around here, Shackle is available. Aaron has to be a little bit careful. Notorious repositions for the Shackle. Beautiful stuff. The Smash coming out here from Aaron will be able to clean up Orko. And that is why his Wind Ranger is notorious. So Burnsiders have pulled one frag back. And the ping out from Ugg. Just level two here. Not necessarily a real big deal. Oh, the bet on the rune goes wrong. Aaron's gonna see him walk back with the empty bottle. It's like, all right, bro, I'll just take that. So, um, sort of pulled Aaron out of lane for a half second, but actually wasn't really at a, a big deal timing. I don't think he saw Ugg though um, in his rotations. He's got another point in um, Searing Chains. So, um, two second duration stun here. Oh, what bad luck from Ugg. Uh, the, the burn is going to happen, but at the same time, he had uh, uh, three targets and he was going to hit two of them and he did not hit the one he wanted. So, my quick math, I'm sorry. Not there, but uh, really low odds on that. 33%? I guess. I don't know. Well, it's more than a desired outcome, I guess. It's less than. Oh, Courier coming in. Uh, Vinny. Oh, gets the kill. No treads for you. And uh, that's sort of annoying as well, because now he still kind of has to choose between his items over what he wants. Yeah, Faded Brooch being picked up by KU. Um, yeah, he's going to hold on to that for a bit. Notorious is going to be taking XP here against um, Dato, who's got the Blink Dagger queued up. And not a whole lot of gold. He's probably got the, yeah, the rest of his phase boots on the way. He's getting pinged out. As Ugg is here... 
Uh, Vinny is close to um, his ultimate Ravage, but none of these creeps are going to go down. They don't have a wave with them, so he's not really going to be able to get the experience he needs. Maybe as this range creep goes down. Yeah, definitely as this other creeps go down. Yeah, Vinny hits it now. Immediately levels up. Uh, I don't think he wants to use it on Ugg, but I mean, you know, he's just definitely might still turn on him. Uh, black, uh, sorry, Black Ice's uh, horror has got uh, the Ag Scepter queued up here. Oh, yeah, but he's just gonna go inside. And the Searing Chains, chains is there, but most of that just gets wasted as uh, Horror forgot about the, the minimum range there. And Vinny with the, the Pro Guides Dota 2 play. And uh, so, yeah, the format as well is this is actually just a BO1 straight elimination. And, um, uh, who was that who canceled their TP there? Is that... Maybe that was. Maybe that was. Maybe that was. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, it's just BO1s. Um, just single eliminations. There are qualifiers tomorrow. Um, so it's like a second round of qualifiers. But it's actually also um, top two uh, go through. So uh, ba basically, um, there was only 16 teams, um, I believe. So I think Burnside is basically just have to win uh, twice. Get through. I think there was less than 16 teams. So some people might not have properly checked in or gotten in. Uh, the ambush going in on Dato, and th this is going to hurt him a bit as uh, he's got a lot of unreliable gold. Well, hurt him. Yeah, okay, there he goes. He goes down. He's lost 100 there. That's actually sort of in some ways maybe. Thought maybe that, that number would have been a little bit more. Rune already went down there. Vinny uh, grabbed it immediately. They're going to go for Ugg here, who's got the sleight of fist, but this boss four, uh, Ember Spirits, uh, not really paying off. He's uh, giving up a lot of kills. Animates coming in here, though. They've forgotten about the Ravage here. Aaron's throwing down the ultimate. It's right on top of Borko. Animates will just run away. Uh, Mortimer's Kiss is coming out again off cooldown. Oh, Aaron uh, is. Uh, uh, Magic Stick was also coming off the cooldown. He's actually going to get picked off there. That was unfortunate. I felt like they could have maybe turned that, but at the same time, KU is uh, starting to climb up the uh, net worth charts. And Burnsiders uh, hanging in there overall on the net worth charts. Um, the Axe uh, Blink Dagger is going to change their situation a bit when it comes to uh, initiations, but. Uh, also as well, Horror is actually making pretty good progress towards the um, Ag Scepter. As basically could waddle over there and pick off the um, stats point, uh, stats booster, points booster. Um, and uh, as as well, just sort of surprised to see just boots, uh, bottle, and Ag Scepter. So very straightforward rush. Uh, the Scatterblast doing a ton of damage right now. Uh, the Shackle coming out on the Animage. Animage very weak. Blink down over here. Bloodlust comes out. Ogre Magi here, though. The Cookie coming in. Great combos from um, Radiant. Vinny in a little bit of trouble here. Has Gush. The Animage jumping in here. But uh, Vinny uh, has some help from the Oracle. Turns around with the Bash. Oh, and then... Combo on Porco, gonna blast him down. Am jumps in, aggressive plays though. The scatter blast and the axe coming in here. Oh yeah, there was a TP maybe coming out, but gonna get canceled. He's still lurking, still wanting to farm on the side here. And that was a solid fight for uh, Black Eyes. Picking up a, a good chunk of change, and well, killing um, five through um, five through three. So you know. Definitely, you know, the support side of things, but, you know, you're killing three girls, that's fantastic. And you find a trusty shovel. 
Wing King is uh, pushing um, bottom, and the Burnsiders are not going to let top tower go for free. Taurus pushing forward. We'll have power shot in a second here. Has a shackle as well. Spots the amber. Oh no, the power shot missed. But at the same time, we got gush. We got anchor smash. That's fine. Um, mechanism coming up here from Tide Hunter. So that's a nice fighting item. And um, also Ku. Uh, well, it has used Metamorphosis uh, to um, kill the uh, ancient creeps. Um, that, that's a big cooldown for sure. Um, but uh, getting closer to having Assange and Yasha, and uh, especially with Mech, um, Vinny and um, Kobe building up to kind of support items. They won't have for a little bit here. Um, what's Aaron getting? He should have something on his carrier, right? Uh, what? What? He should have something on his courier right? No, he's, he's having not the greatest game. Only 4,000 net worth right now. Would like a little bit more out of your mid, but that Snapfire, definitely a strong laner. And yeah, Monkey King is trying to um, build up to Axe up or just built that to Ogre's Club. But, you know, compared to where the... Um, Snapfire is. Excuse me, let me fix my vision. A Snapfire has her axe up right now. Anchor Smash. And uh, the ulti from the axe. Uh, uh, Snapfire as well. Excuse me. The Tidehunter being saved. Ravage comes out and hits four players! Oh, getting pinged out here as uh, Vinny's still surviving this. And he's full health after the heal. Aaron getting stunned out by Aaron uh, by the fireball from the Ogre Magi. But they're going to be able to get the kill here. Oh no, he's going to bash him out of the TP. Get wrecked, bro. Oh, it's horror. Wakens Roshan. At least he gets denied some sort of uh, condolence there. Okay, he wasn't even in that fight. Ouch. Oh. Great plays for the Burnsiders. The mech, the saves from the Oracle. Aaron uh, throwing it down. Hey, he's got that uh, Sanj and Yasha under the way. <clears throat> Dota, uh, Dato is here, excuse me. Um, he's got the Blink Dagger. But some of this initiation just like doesn't matter. I mean, like, they need to get animates, like, really fat. I mean, he's, he's definitely their counter, their hope uh, to the Terrorblade. And, and really, um, I mean, you know, Animage is one of the classic heroes. And, you know, some Yogi Berra casting to just be like, well, oh, Black Ice is going to win the game, and then, like, Andy Mage has to go huge, like Andy Mage does in games that he wins. And it's all this similar stuff. The spit in of um, the Ember Spirit into the Searing Chainsaw is pretty nice. Um, and he's going to have a Yule Scepter as well. So, I mean, that, that's a good pickup. Uh, Notorious pings out the ward, though. And it's just a pause four. I mean, I don't, oh, they smoke now, and they smoked under the. Oh, sorry, that's their ward. I'm, like, freaking out. I don't know if they're under smoke here. If it breaks here, though, that, uh, they should see it instantly. Yeah, 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 they see it, so. It's pinged out. And they're not gonna be able to get anything with it. Uh, Vinny pushing top. And uh, some KU Illusion still pushing out bottom. So, I mean, the the lane push not so great uh, for Radiant. As, uh, oh yeah, look, okay, it's just Ugg, but um, he's gonna have to uh, jet himself up with Spirit. But at the same time, um, yeah, he's also just got to bounce away. He's just getting chased. Um, Dato goes in. And but at the same time, not able to get the kill here. The shot coming in, the MK ulti. Trying to blast him down. Don't quite keep him in the range of the ulti. Still trying to blast him down. He's just getting uh, zoomed out. Oh, yeah, just barely survives that. The Oracle Burst, unable to just completely hit him through. 
Metamorphosis coming off in a cooldown in 10 seconds here. And they see Porco just walking uphill. Scouted. The Oracle's gonna uh, root him into place here. Porco's gonna go down. He had his teammate, his anti mage over there feeling kind of con uh, confident and just walks in. But KU's just like, yeah, we don't care. We're gonna take this. And, um, well, certainly without the anti mage. Uh, it needs to drop kind of fast here, but, you know, like, they don't really have the lanes pushed out well enough um, in terms of Radiant to do anything about this, if they knew anything about this. So. Yeah, laning phase wasn't easy for the Burnsiders, but um, KU's been farming away. They had some great team fights. And now you can see that's going to push them forward again. But Vinny has um, jumped to the third uh, position in the, the net worth. And then KU a little bit behind the anti-mage. 700 gold though, not too big of a deal. And the supports are, are uh, well farmed as well as Aaron has had some space in order to um, be able to uh, get his own farm back as well. And Snapfire, I mean, this is maybe where, you know, gobble up. It's like, I don't know, you know, I am an amateur Dota, you know. Our team is way, way better than me. Gobble up coming out here. And there's some good combos with it. This is huge on KU. Can he get the... Oh, he cannot get the Sunder off. So there goes his Aegis. That's unfortunate. Not having really any of the save with him. You know, but like... I guess there goes the Axe. And, I mean, they'll have another Axe combo not too long. But the uh, Mortimer Kisses. So, I mean, that's a little unfortunate for KU. But, you know, it's also it's like whatever. <laughs> Burnsiders are getting stronger. They got the money for Roshan, from Roshan. Shout out to our TF2 squad as well. We got a TF2 game later. KU's got some items coming out. Moving towards that Scotty. He's got two parts of it coming out now. That's a nice increase of stats. Plus 10, plus you know, 175, 175. To the health in mana pool. Some pings coming out here. Um, Ember Spirit X pinging that. And I don't know about that Mirage ping. That yes, yes, let's do it. And, well, 20 minutes just passed, so uh, outposts. Um, couldn't have been captured before that. Burn Center also just came down. And Monkey King uh, rooted here. The taunt coming out here from Axe. We're going to blast down uh, Notorious. Not going to be able to get the save from the Oracle, but he does get the root on the uh, Anti Mage. Plus, the Rabs coming out here. Dato pretty low here. 13 health. Anti Mage slipping away. Oracle out as well. It's a one for one. Pause four for pause four. And Black Eyes get a little bit more out of that because the Burnsiders are technically ahead. So Ice Frog blesses them. Metamorphosis has come out uh, from KU again. Um, when is that? About 26 seconds ago. Does the little, little illusion thing on um, Axe that'll chase him away. Um, use up his uh, Blink Dagger. Interfere with his Blink Dagger. Mirage blinking up here. Doing a little bit of chase. Vinny, I believe, sees that. Walks up the high ground. like, nah. Blink forward from Mirage. But I don't know. It's pretty aggressive. He's, like, surrounded by all sorts of players. Oracle popping his ultimate on himself. He used to out here bashing away. Aaron has shown up. Does get uh, the axe on the side there with that stun. Oracle will survive in this. They still want to push in. They still want to fight here. Big damage coming out here. The Aaron uh, Monkey ult is down. Uh, Tidehunter getting a lot of damage on him. KU though still up, still fighting. They're going to be able to take out Horror. Right now it's just uh, two kills for one death in the Burnsider's favor. Mirage blinking backwards in a way. They're going to be able to get a tower for this as well. So Burnsiders get a thousand more gold plus uh, two thousand more experience. So that in itself seems uh, pretty important. Pretty important. See the levels overall. 
And uh, Andy Mage has actually got 18, but um, the supports of um, Black Eye is kind of suffering there. Uh, it's a notorious level 12, but Ugg and uh, Bork are both level 9. And, I mean, Notorious just has so much more kill potential. Uh, he's getting super close to his Blink Dagger. And, uh, you know, having a Blink Dagger on that Wind Ranger so he can chase down the Anti Mage and, and then shackle him is going to be super helpful. Anti Mage, you see, just switched up his build. Uh, I think. I'm sorry, actually. I saw it in. Um, I just saw it change, but I was like just registering what he had before it changed. He grabs, he's gonna grab a basher here. Oh, and Notorious, yeah. Just got the gold for this. The, the Mortimer's Kiss is coming out here. The Axe as well. Uh, didn't get the buyout on the Blink Dagger. Horror, though, is gonna go down 2KU. So they have gotten two kills on the side of Radiant Animage, though, scattering. Scotty out here. It's really going to slow down these uh, heroes. Ember Spirit has a tough time running away from that, but Kayo doesn't necessarily want to fully engage into that. And Animage is just going to skip over the other side of the jungle. He says, no, thank you. And in case it's, well, you know what? Like, uh, we're just going to we're just gonna push into that. Ember Spirit uh, bumping around. Dato coming in with the taunt here. Doing a lot of damage. Kayo, though, does have the Sunder. He Sunders the AM, so the AM has to run away. K, uh, KU taking the high ground here. Might have to turn around and fight here. Is going to be in a little bit of trouble here. No more Sunder. No more support to help here. The Ravage had come out already. And Burns are actually getting kind of spanked in that fight. As a fight recap is going to show that was a big one. 3k gold change as well as a 5.5k experience uh, swing. Uh, two uh, Black Ice. Princeters were a little bit disconnected, um, but that was because they had already lost a few players. The throw forward here into the Searing um, Chains. Certainly an obnoxious combo. Um, looks like he's got the clumsy net as well. Notorious just got that Blink Dagger, which you know is one that you would like to be able to debut it in a more uh, aggressive fashion. Um, I would, I, you know, gotta wonder if they're curious about this. Okay, well, seeing that Ember Spirit be sitting on um, those Yule Scepter ingredients for quite a while, it's gotta have it soon. It's on the high ground, but not spotted. Three salves on the Oracle. God, I love it. And he's got the Solar Crest queued up on the Wind Ranger. Uh, there comes the toss in. Uh, while they're de-warding, Kobe, though, is just going to use his ultimate on himself, though. They keep himself alive. Monkey King coming in here with the jump on Ugg. We're just going to take this kill. <laughs> the Courier is coming out as well. And uh, I wonder if anybody can actually catch up to that, though. Yeah, no, I don't think so. If any doesn't have a Blink Tiger. Going for the Desolator. It's combined with that Anchor Smash. I love it. They're still kind of chasing that Courier. Um, looks like KU's down here. Has uh, Sunder, has Metamorphosis uh, ready to go. So, I mean, they're in fighting shape. Just going to push him in the second tower. And, I mean, you have to watch out for the Mormon's Kisses, the Toss combo. Didn't have Ravage ready. They have Greaves. Just feeling pretty healthy, but, yeah, they don't necessarily need to fight. So KU has Butterfly queued up. He's trying to click on the Animage, and he blinks away from me. He's got Abyssal, so, you know, um, looking for a little bit more crowd control here. Lincoln from the axe, and the Torius gets the shack on the Ember uh, Spirit, and then the uh, Borko getting thrown in here. I don't know if that's necessarily ideal though for Borko. They're fighting the Oracle. Uh, uh, Aaron there though with the uh, oh, and there's the Ravage, beautiful Ravage. The Snapfire throwing in a ton of damage. They're trying to just survive it, but it is a rough uh, prospect. Kayu though coming in though does get the kill on the axe, and it's just the Snapfire up. Power shot here. Snack are gonna uh, Shack are gonna be up here in a second. The blink forward, looking for the connecting tree. Didn't quite find the angle. Notorious one and so backs up. 
This isn't a great re-engage though from Horror. Looking for, uh, looking for some action. There's the Scotty. And Notorious is still looking for the perfect tree, but actually the cookie over the cliff. Notorious blinks away. So, good jukes from Horror. Did I miss the fight recap? Oh, I did. This is a ambitious boots of travel. Oh, blink don't know uh, for, forward from Notorious. And he uh, spits a creep. Smart, fast thinking. Has to still dodge Notorious, though. And Notorious is just going to be able to kill him down with those arrows. That's a nice pickup. Good 900 gold uh, change experience to Notorious. He's running rampant at 8k gold. Um, catching up to horror, slowing him down. So. I want to see the neutral items. I think the Burnsiders might have just picked up some new items that they can switch up. There's Orb of Destruction. Uh, that's going to go on to the Monkey King. Uh, that's a that's a great item for him. Making that uh, armor reduction apply to all of his hits. And the Anchor Smash Desolator is on the way from the Titan Hunter. He's already got that way queued up, so that's, that's good. Blasted. Mirage has got an AC queued up, so make himself a little bit more survivable. So it's other teammates. Axe going for that. Ags. That Ags. 503. Hanging this out. Smoke out here. They don't get Black Mirage with the smoke. So, okay, yeah, there's the Burnsider's vision. It's like, that's not right. And, um, yeah, Borko pinged out here on the 30-minute uh, rune. And they got the KU Illusion over there as well. But uh, Burnsiders rotate away from that. They're going to pick that up. Aaron with the Invis rune now. Burnsiders may be pinging out a smoke of their own here. Yeah, it looks like it. Even get KU in on that. And they see Animage top. So they sort of, in some sense, have their pick of targets here. <clears throat> and they want to go in and just jungle straight up. He summons in an illusion. And Vinny's going to walk into him. The Animage blinks forward. Jackal on the Ogre Magi. The Axe blinks in a great talk from him. He does call down the Oracle. Oracle flying back immediately. Vinny getting banged up pretty solidly here. He's got another anchor smash here. KU though, uh, just bashing people. Vinny's still alive here. Borko's gonna be in some trouble. Og oh, wants to get back in here, but it's a three for one for the burn siders, including the anti-mage. And they're gonna be able to get the Ags. The jump four from Uggs gets the chain, and Horror is gonna walk in here, but it's a trade. The pause four for the pause five. That's not sustainable. Supply, demand, economy. <laughs> oh, Borco, get out of Cheese on Aaron. KU building up to that juicy satanic. Notorious, quite juicy. He's building up to um, a four staff. He still has that javelin tucked away. And their pause five did die back, but you know, it's whatever. Almost all the outer towers um, pushed in. Uh, so Burnside just pushing this down. 
Um, KU with the Aegis here, and the Ember is going to bling forward here. They know his landing spot. KU just kind of teasing around it. And a little bit of gush action from Vinny. So now 1.1k. Uh, doesn't have 5 back. Uh, Notorious jumping in with the Focus Fire as well. This is going to be able to blast down Ember and the tower. They've also interrupted the Blink Dagger from Dato. KU's just going to hit him. Or does get a kill on Aaron on the side. So, I mean, that's a, a nice pickup for uh, Radiant. But at the same time, oh, the BKB called out here. Um, is it the 10 second one or the 9 second one? Either way, I'm starting to burn through some charges here. I guess that was the 10 second one. He's got a 9 second one now. So, having to use that to dodge the shackle. Um, a buyback from the Ember Spirit as well. So, I mean, you know, they're hanging in there. They're hanging in there. Lost a good chunk of their tower health. About a third for the, the kids at home with the quick maths. Actually, more than a third. Check my quick mouse, you know. Oh, and well, Vinny is pushing up here on UG. UG level 16. I mean, uh, I didn't intentionally switch this over here, but I mean, pretty big difference when you see the four players 20 and under. Let's get on network. Any man still up there, but. You know, Benny and Aaron walking around with some money. Ugly Yule's on the uh, Tide Hunter here, but Tide Hunter has the rabbit. Creeps up top, though, pushing. Um, pinged up from, uh, I believe that was Benny. And, well, Bounty Rune's coming up here as well. They don't control the top ones. The Grindsiders get the bottom ones. And, um, are pushing that wave out as well. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually saw that the enemy mage was going top or sort of instinctively realized one of the players might be MIA. The US pops metamorphosis here. So it's just kind of pushing in. They just look want to tank this, especially if the, the enemy mage isn't here. He's just blasting away at it. Yeah, his TP's on cooldown. I wonder if they were aware if they knew. I'm gonna lose a lane of barracks because of that. Ogre Magi, not really all that fat anti mage, has this ghost scepter. Forced into buying it. Burns up is gonna take another tower to spit over the top of the Ember, attacking the back lane to get the uh, Oracle first. But now anti mage in so much trouble! He does blink out the ghost scepter being used to save him. Cookie also throwing towards him to like get a little bit of heal, but I mean, if your mid is, is taking the cookie heal. That's that's not good. Besides the fact that they just lost two lanes of racks, and all they got in exchange was the Oracle. It is looking good for the Burnsiders. Black ice melting away under our feet, and it's it's just turning into a mirage. But, I mean, you know, we like the Black Ice Gang. Um, I mean, they're, they're good dudes. And there is a qualifier tomorrow for this tournament. Game not over yet, of course. And Dota is free the game. Black Ice maybe looking to just try to get an aggressive push down uh, mid here. Wind Ranger has um, an Aether Lens. Or Andis, excuse me. That was wrong. It left my mouth. Um, coming out. Prince's Knight picked up from the Animage. Um, that'd be good for... I don't know. Snapfire, I guess. is the only ranged hero. Uh, I'm sitting on a, a Nether Shawl right now, which... I mean, the magic resistance is kind of nice, but... Uh, maybe worth it. And the level are going to come out here for the Animage. So, I mean, that's nice. He gets a good blast forward. Gets the Wind Ranger. That's a nice pickup. But uh, Vinny's out, getting thrown up in the air by the Yules. 
Ugg just gets blasted down. Can't jump into his spirit. Doesn't have buyback either. And Illusion's getting cleaned up. So four for four once again. Um, but, you know, that time the money a little bit better. Uh, you know, for Black Ice as well as just the fact that the ghost and Annie Mage. Oracle's just gonna buy back. It's just whatever, dog. I'll just do it. A lot of money on KU. His courier was flying over to the uh, um, secret shop as well. Oh, he's, he picked up the magic lamp. As, uh, I wasn't paying attention. That is a dieback, unfortunately, on the Oracle. But uh, Mirage maybe in a bit of trouble here. Oh, it does jump away. But the courier spots him. So then Aaron's going to come in with the first stun here. Spell Shield was on here. He goes for the blast on Notorious. Does get it. And uh, Aaron uh, was trying to bang away. It looks like Megas are going to come out here. Vinny and KU over on the back line. I think KU might have just... Oh, no. I thought I heard the thunder noise. Something. Still have Ravage here. Yeah, there it is. And uh, our animates here are going to be in such trouble. And the axe comes in and it's like, I'm going to taunt you, bro. But, uh, I mean, Blade Mail, KU just doesn't really care. He's hitting him with the Scotty. Uh, Snapfire coming in here. That was a good cookie. And it's a good turn again from the axe. But he's just going to taunt himself into death. And Ogre Magi trying to help here. But the illusion is going to help find the uh, grandma in the trees. KU's going to clean that up. Megas are, are down. And... Yeah, we got DCs coming out. Oh, they already called GG. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I missed the GGs, but GG well played to Black Ice. You know, we were sad to see him in the first round matchup um, because you know this is a tournament where uh, top top two are, are going to go on, and uh, you know we were basically kind of. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of a shame that we basically meet meet these guys um, right away. Um, looks like there were a few more teams that slipped in. Um, so I think we would have to play. Yeah, we're going to have to play this next match. And then we're going to have to win after that. And uh, we do have odd otters up in the, um, in the bracket, which would be a, a great team to face up against. As know those dudes. And, um, yeah, yeah, so... Congrats to the Burnsiders, get the W. But uh, yeah. Um, awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think that's all I really kind of realistically have time for because uh, there's a little bit of a break here. Burnsiders are probably going to hop into another game, you know, real quick here. Um, you can see though that they're still in the main menu, so they they have not started. Um, but uh. Um, basically, yeah. I mean, I, I wish them the best of luck. I got TF2 coming up in a little over an hour. And so I just don't think I can cast the next match in full anyways. And my throat's a little, little, little dry. So I kind of don't also want to just like cast for the next hour and, and then jump right into playing TF2. So um, thanks for tuning in though. And uh, we're certainly wishing the Burnsiders the best of luck as they move forward in this bracket. Hopefully you don't hear about us playing tomorrow. Hopefully we can get uh, two more W's tonight and uh, close this out. Um, once again, shout out to Black Ice. Um, unfortunate that uh, we faced up against them um, first in the bracket as um, uh, Borco is a, is a friend of ours. But uh, I'm sure that they're going to bounce back and uh, keep your eyes on them in the future as well. That's going to do it for us, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for tuning in. Quick shout out to the sponsors. And well, I am X time. We will see you guys next time. Peace out.